Back when I was just starting out on YouTube, I made a video talking about the RX 6000M and I told you guys that I was really excited to hear more about these GPUs and at the moment I still am. But sadly, we haven't really gotten more information from AMD about all of these cards in the past months and that also includes CES where they just told us that we're going to get more information about these cards in the first half of 2021 and that deadline is slowly approaching of course and I still hope that AMD is going to uh, give us more information other than, you know, hey, we're going to have uh, these cards. But if they're not going to give us all of this information soon, we're still going to be able to hear more about uh, these cards from leaks and rumors. And this is exactly what we're going to be covering next, because in a recent uh, CPU-Z validator listing, we've seen that ASUS is preparing to launch a laptop that is going to be powered by AMD, both for the CPU and the GPU. And if I remember correctly, this was the ASUS ROG Strix G15, where we had the Ryzen 5900HX paired with an RX 6800M. And this, of course, uh, means that we don't really get <laughs> GPU benchmarks at the moment. We can only look at the CPU. But the good thing is that now we know that they are preparing to launch the RX 6800M. Uh, I believe in the video that I made quite a few while, uh, quite a while ago, I only talked up to the 6700M. So good to hear about that. And also good to to hear that this GPU is going to have 12 gigabytes of VRAM, so it's definitely going to be plenty. Now, I cannot really tell you much more about uh, the performance and what else to expect from these laptops, so you're going to have to wait a little bit longer. What I would like to tell you is that um, Nvidia is also preparing to do something uh, with the other cards that are preparing to launch, so the RTX 3050 and the RTX 3050 Ti, and I have separate videos talking about these cards as well, which I will be linking right over here. Um, I'm going to show you the benchmarks that they have posted on their website, um, and this is uh, both going to be a synthetic benchmark in 3 Marks Time Spy, and also Shadow of the Tomb Raider, where you can see that the RTX 3050 and the RTX 3050 Ti are both really close to the GTX 1660 Ti. And if you remember, I also talked about how I expect this to be really similar, but obviously it's also going to have DLS and we're going to get to that in a moment. Now, of course, you also really care about gaming benchmarks, judging off of the uh, retention rate and where you also look uh, at a video. And if you didn't know, I've made uh, videos talking about uh, some laptops and you can check it right over here. Now, in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, we've seen that the uh, RTX 3050 and the 3050 Ti have both managed to outperform the GTX 1660 Ti and that's all fine and dandy but we also don't really know exactly what the testing conditions were. Like of course we have seen that these have been tested uh, with the ultra and the medium presets but obviously if there have been any kind of changes made like to tessellation or any other things we all know that uh, this can obviously mm, change quite a few things like in terms of performance you're going you can also see up to 10% uh, difference but let's just assume that all of these uh, things have been all the same and you know, all fine and dandy in that regard. But there is also other things that you should consider when looking at those things and definitely grab a salt shaker with you because we don't know anything about the CPUs inside of these laptops. We don't know anything about uh, the power limits. We don't know anything about uh, the uh, RAM configurations. Uh, we don't know anything about uh, BIOS versions, drivers, and there are a ton of other things to consider when looking at benchmarks and getting an idea of how things compare to each other. But still, this is a good starting point to have. So don't get me wrong, I'm not someone who thinks that these GPUs are going to be bad. But there's an asterisk at the end and that is going to be tied to DLSS as well. And whilst I'm really happy to see that um, even lower end GPUs are getting DLSS, really awesome, especially because there are going to be more and more games which are going to make use of DLSS and there's a video talking about uh, that here as well. 
there is the thing there is another thing to consider which is the four gigabytes versus six gigabytes of vram now whilst these laptops are most likely going and these gpus are most likely going to be catered to uh, people who want to have some thinner lights and also don't really care about the latest AAA game titles there are still going to be some people which live in other regions where something like an rtx 3060 or 3070 are way beyond their budget and you guys told me about it that in the comments <laughs> way more than I can possibly think of. Well, for these people, the six gigabytes of VRAM would have been great. So I'm really sad to see that you're not going to be able to get that. And I don't think that there are going to be any changes uh, done by Nvidia, which are going to change that. Still do note that there are going to be uh, laptop manufacturers like MSI, which have pretty much confirmed that they're going to be launching uh, laptops with the RTX 3050 and 3050 Ti. And no, they didn't say specifically these cards, but they also didn't say um, the RTX 3060 when they said that they're going to have up to RTX 30 series GPUs in one of their promo videos at MSI Ology or whatever they called that. So that's good. There's obviously going to be more laptops from companies like Lenovo, uh, Dell, HP, and who knows <laughs> any other companies that are going to be powered by these uh, RTX 3050 and 3050 Ti GPUs, which means that you are still going to have a better chance, let's say, at getting a laptop which is going to be able to do both productivity and gaming at a decent level, I should say, and also that are not going to break your bank or break your back, essentially, uh, because they're most likely going to be thin and light. So I'm really excited to hear more about all of those things, but I'm also really curious to hear what you guys think about the whole uh, market at the moment with the mobile GPUs and also with the laptops. So definitely let me know about all of those things in the comments and I shall hopefully see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.